Science Olympiad Student Council in the Spring Musical, undecided on college right now, wants to study astronomy. Michelle Watson is a junior at Genesee, is involved in the Spring Musical as well, and also a part of Science Olympiad, uh, hopes to follow a career track in teaching. Captain of the team is James Wilson. James is a senior, will major in commercial arts in college, and Jim Olette rounds out the Genesee team. Jim is a senior, member of the Science Olympiad Student Council and National Honor Society, will attend GMI and go into electrical engineering. Those are our players from Genesee High School. The team is coached by Ken Cavula, and its alternates are Chris Howd and Mike uh, Pup uh, uh, Pupa. Pupan. I'll get it right here before the day is out. That's our team from uh, Genesee. Our team from Kersley High School includes Matt Kenworthy. Matt is a senior involved in chess, quiz bowl, and tennis. Uh, plans on attending the University of Michigan is undecided right now on a major. Sean Amadon is the captain of the Kersley team. Sean's a junior involved in the Herald for Michigan Renaissance, uh, Michigan Renaissance Festival, uh, marching band and journalism, undecided on a college, hopes to uh, write fiction for a career. Heath Clark is a senior at Kersley, involved in National Honor Society, jazz band, pep band, church youth group, and, of course, quiz bowl team will attend the University of Michigan Flint right here and major in, in history. And Eric Wagner rounds out the team. Eric is a freshman at Kersley, involved in amateur radio, quiz bowl, and marching band. He is undecided on college and career track at this point. Those are our players from Kersley High School. The team is coached by Mike Skidmore. Alternates are Mark Kenworthy, Becky McKnight, Rusty McKnight, and Michelle Richardson. Our judge for our high school challenge today from right here at WFUM, Carolyn Meldrum, and our timekeeper scorekeeper for tonight's game, Mark Dews. Teams, we're ready to go. Here are your rules for round one. I'll ask you a series of questions, each worth 10 points. The player buzzing first may answer when I recognize you. If you're correct, your team scores the 10 points. If you're incorrect, the other team gets a shot at the same question. Remember, you may interrupt me anytime I'm asking a question. There's no point penalty if you're incorrect. Over at that point, I'll repeat the entire question for the other team. Okay, there's the bell for round one. Good luck, teams. Here we go. In 1973, he launched a war against Israel. In 1977, he dramatically changed course when he flew to Jerusalem to negotiate peace. He shared the 1978 Nobel Peace Prize with Menachem Begin and was assassinated in 1981. Name this Egyptian leader. James Genesee. Anwar Sadat. That's the correct answer. It was said to be, quote, five miles south of the Canadian border, 12 miles west of the state line, end quote, somewhere in the state of Washington. What was this TV hometown of Norma Jennings, uh, Audrey Horn, and Laura Palmer? Jim Genesee. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks is correct. I was afraid for a minute you were all too young to even remember that. After 1890, his paintings emphasized a subjective impression of color and light on water. For example, his huge painting of water lilies in New York's Museum of Modern Art. Sean Kersley. Monet. Monet is the correct answer. Pizarro discovered this starchy vegetable in Peru and took it back to Spain. At the beginning of the 17th century, it was brought back to the New World by English colonists. What is it? Sean Kersley. Corn. It's incorrect. You may take a Genesee. Genesee Michelle. Potato. Potato is the correct answer. He refused to brand his cattle so that... Uh, Heath Kersley. Maverick. Samuel Maverick is the correct answer. In set theory... A power set is defined as the family of all subsets of a given set. If the set B has N elements, how many elements are there in the power set of B? Time's up. It's 2 to the nth power. Here's your next toss-up. His shorter poems include Excelsior, A Psalm of Life, and The Village Blacksmith. His longer poems include Evangeline and the Courtship of Miles Standish. Name this popular American poet. Time's up. Well, maybe not so popular American poet. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow is the answer. Of red, blue, green, and violet, 
Which, uh, which color has the longest wave? Uh, Aaron, Genesee. Red. Red is the correct answer. Yeah. Toss-up question, teams. We think it's a nuisance, but the Japanese who gave it to us in the first place can't... Uh, James, Genesee. Kudzu? Kudzu is the correct answer. <laughs> this Mediterranean island was famous for the copper that was mined there. In fact, it takes its name from the Greek word, uh, Sean Kersley. Cyprus? Cyprus is the correct answer. <laughs> Historians still don't agree where the word came from, but the song was written in 1859 by Daniel Decatur Emmett for a New York minstrel show. It became widely popular when it was performed in New Orleans and became the anthem of Southern Secession. Hey, Heath Kersley. Dixie? Dixie is the correct answer. <laughs> Chaucer's Canterbury Tales include more than 8,000 pairs of rhymed lines of poetry. What is each pair of rhymed... Uh, James Genesee. Uh, couplet? A couplet is the correct answer. Here's another toss-up. The movie Memphis Bell starred Matthew Modine and John Lithgow as crew members of this famous World War II bomber's final raid over Germany. What kind of bomber, uh, James Genesee? A B-52. That's incorrect. Uh, Heath Kersley. B-17. B-17 is the correct answer. The tunnel, or chunnel, which connects England and France, runs under this body... Uh, Sean Kersley. The English Strait. That's incorrect. Uh, Michelle Genesee. English Channel. English Channel is the correct answer. <clears throat> I could have also accepted the Strait of Dover, but I couldn't take the two of them together. Here we go. It is a rectangular country divided into four parts. Gillikin country, Winky country, Quadling country, and Munchkin country. Heath Kersley. Oz. Oz is the correct answer. Christopher Columbus reached the New World in October of 1492. In what month did he leave Spain? Heath Kersley. August. August is the correct answer. It gets its name from the bright bands of red, black, and yellow that distinguish it from other snakes. Uh, James Genesee. The king snake? That's incorrect. It, uh, you may take it, Heath Kersley. Copperhead? Also incorrect, the coral snake is what I needed. Here Comes the Bride is played at traditional weddings. It was first heard in the opera Lohengrin. Who wrote the opera and the tune? Uh, Eric Kersley. Oh, Wagner? Wagner is the correct answer. <laughs> Priestesses Freya, they included Mista, Hilda, and Brunhilde. Who were these warrior maidens of Valhalla? Eric Kersley. The, the Valkyries? That's correct. <laughs> Bodie Island, Okracoke Island, Roanoke Island, and Hatteras all lay in a strip along the eastern coast of North Carolina. What name has been given to these islands? Uh, Heath Kersley. Cape Hatteras. That's incorrect. You may take a Genesee. Time's up. There are the Outer Banks. That's what I needed. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. In what Shakespearean... Uh, Matt Kersley. Hamlet. Hamlet's the correct answer. <laughs> On October 29th, 1940, the United States began the first one ever held during peacetime when Secretary of War Harold Stimson drew number 158, uh, Sean Kersley. Draft? Draft is acceptable. <laughs> it's found in solder, pewter, and, uh, Eric Kersley. Lead. That's incorrect. It's found in solder, pewter, and bronze. What is this metallic element with the chemical symbol SN? Uh, Aaron Genesee. Tin. Tin is the correct answer. It's a craft that's nearly disappeared. It involves hoops and staves assembled by a cooper. What the... 
Uh, Heath Kersley. Barrel making? Barrel making is correct. The largest Baptist college in the United States is located in Waco, Texas. What university is it? Heath Kersley. Oh. No answer. I have to pass it on. Genesee, you may take it. Time's up. It's Baylor University. And there's our buzzer. That means round one is over. We've got a good one going. Genesee, you trail at this point, a real seesaw battle, but at this point, you do get the first opportunity of round two. So you know that's our lightning round. I'm about to give you a choice of three categories. Once you've selected, you'll have 60 seconds to answer up to 10 questions in that category. Remember, you may consult in this round. You don't have to buzz in, but I'll be accepting answers only from James, the team captain. If you don't know an answer, you must say pass before I continue. Genesee, you'll score 10 points for each correct answer and a 20-point bonus if all 10 are correct. Once your 60 seconds is up, Kersley, you'll have 30 seconds to answer any of the questions they failed to answer. Then you'll select from the remaining two categories and we'll repeat the process. Genesee, your choices for this evening's game are Smith & Jones, The Sound of Bells, or Music Appreciation. We're going with Smith & Jones. <coughs> Okay, they're the most popular names in the United States, and in this quiz, each answer includes either Smith or Jones. So be sure to include first names whenever possible. Okay, I need first and last names wherever it's appropriate. Here we go. We begin with number one. Pocahontas probably never rescued this captain. John Smith? Correct. In 1779, he insisted, I have not yet begun to fight. John Paul Jones? Correct. It includes the National Portrait Gallery and the Air and Space Museum. Smithsonian. Correct. The voice of Darth Vader. James Earl Jones. Jones. Correct. This women's college is in Northampton, Massachusetts. Pass. Henry Fielding's famous foundling and its title and title character. Pass. He and Michael Jackson wrote We Are the World. Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Correct. Virginia Town, famous for its hams. James Town. <laughs> Incorrect. The central character in 1984. Pass. His locker says the song is at the bottom Davy of the scene. Davy Jones. Davy Jones is correct. And that's number 10. Two, four, six, correct. So you'll score 60 points. We will reset our clock at 30 seconds. And now, Kersley, I will turn the remainder over to you. Here we go. First, this women's college is in Northampton, Massachusetts. Jonesville. Incorrect. Henry Fielding's famous foundling and title character. Pass. Uh, Virginia Town, famous for its hands. Smithville. Incorrect. The central character Winston in 1984. Smith. Pardon me? Winston Smith. That's correct. So you score 10 <laughs> points. And you gave a good try at the Virginia Town at Smithfield. Uh, Tom Jones is the uh, Henry Fielding character, and Smith College is the uh, famous women's college. That concludes Smith and Jones, and now Kersley, you may select between the sound of bells or music appreciation. Music appreciation. Okay, even if you don't appreciate music, you may appreciate 10 points you'll earn for each cor uh, correct answer on these 10 questions about music. Here we go. We begin with number one, the lowest male voice or a large Bass. string. That's correct. The lowest female voice. A alto. Correct. From the Italian for above, the highest female voice. Soprano. Correct. He composed the Nutcracker Suite in Swan Lake. Correct. Musical instruments made by Amate and Stradivari family. Violins. Correct. The flute, clarinet, oboe, and saxophone are this kind of instrument. Woodwind. Correct. Name given to three or more notes played simultaneously. The chord. Correct. The interval from D to F or from G to B. Fourth. Incorrect. The Italian word for softly or an instrument with 88 keys. Piano. Correct. Composer of La Mer and Claire de Lune. Wagner. Incorrect. That's all 10. Nicely done. Eight out of 10 correct. And uh, we will move that clock from 17 seconds back to 30 seconds. And Genesee, these two questions about music. First, 
the interval from D to F and from G to B. I pass. And composer of La Mer and Claire de Lune. Debussy? Debussy is the correct answer there. Uh, I heard you discussing a fourth or a fifth, and it is a third. Okay, from D to F. And with that, we'll take a bit of a break here and be back for some extra credit right after this. Welcome back, everybody. That applause for a high-scoring game. Kersley uh, remains on top through our lightning round. But anything can happen here, teams. This is extra credit. You know you'll be answering 10-point toss-ups for the right at an additional question worth 10 points of extra credit. Next time you hear our signal, that will signal the end of play. At that point, we will continue the extra credit cycle on that particular question all the way to conclusion. Good luck, and here's your first toss-up question. In San Francisco, it included Kenneth Rexroth and Lawrence Ferlinghetti. In New York, Gregory Corso, William Burroughs, Allen Ginsberg, and Jack Kerouac. What was this literary movement of the 1950s? Time's up. The Beat Movement, or Beatnik Movement. About two-thirds of the citizens of this country speak German. A fifth of them speak French. Uh, Eric Kersley. Switzerland. Switzerland is the correct answer. <laughs> Kersley, this is your extra credit. This potentially fatal disease caused by a virus carried by mosquitoes can cause inflammation Malaria. of the brain and spinal cord. What is it? Malaria. That's incorrect. Encephalitis is the answer I needed. Here's your next toss-up, teams. Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence in 1776. What country's National Assembly consulted with Jefferson before... Uh, Heath Kersley. France. France is the correct answer. <laughs> Kersley, Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh, is 90 degrees east of London, the capital of England. If it's midnight in London, what time in it is it in Dhaka? Answer, please. I need an answer. Six hours? More specifics. Uh, 6 a.m.? That's what I needed to hear. Okay. Backed by the Berlin Symphony Orchestra, the Red Army Choir, and planes, helicopters, and troops from East and West Berlin, a new live version of this album was recorded in the Potsdamer Platz in Berlin. What is this rock classic by Pink... Uh, James Genesee. The Wall. The Wall is the correct answer. <laughs> Genesee, here's your extra credit. He moved to Vienna in 1792 to begin studying with Haydn. He remained in Vienna the rest of his life where he wrote 32 piano sonatas, 16 string quartets, nine symphonies, <coughs> and an opera. Name this German composer. Mozart? It's in correct. Beethoven is what I needed. Here's your next toss-up. This literary and operatic character has been called one of the world's cleverest servants. Who is the central character of both The Barber of Seville and a sequel in which he gets married? Uh, James Genesee. Figaro? Figaro is the correct answer. Genesee, he destroyed Jerusalem in 586 B.C. and began the Babylonian captivity. In the Bible, he's said to have gone mad, reduced to eating grass like an ox. Who was he? Answer, please. No answer. Nebuchadnezzar is the correct answer. Here's your next toss-up. Kimon, Jasmine, Darjeeling, uh, James Genesee. Kinds of tea? That's the correct answer. Here's your extra credit again, Genesee. It is a pale yellow, poisonous, highly corrosive gas. But when combined with sodium, it's often added to water supplies to prevent dental disease. What is this chemical element? Fluorine. Fluorine is the correct answer. <clears throat> Excuse me. It first appeared in the February 1862 issue of the Atlantic Monthly, set to the tune of John Brown's body. Sean Kersley. Bellham of the Public. Correct answer. He is most famous for his dramatic poetic monologues, including uh, Soliloquy of the Spanish Cloister and My Last Duchess. Name this 19th century English poet. Tennyson? Tennyson's incorrect. Robert Browning is the answer I needed. 
Here's your next toss-up, teams. When Margaret Thatcher resigned in 19... Uh, Heath Kersley. John Major. It's incorrect. When Margaret Thatcher resigned in 1990, she had been Prime Minister of England longer than anyone in the 20th century. Within one year, in what year did she become Prime Minister? Jim Genesee. 1957. It's incorrect. 1979 is the answer. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the oldest forms of art, they are found in caves. Uh, Sean Kersley. Hieroglyphics. It's incorrect. One of the oldest forms of art, they are found in caves, <laughs> Egyptian tombs, Roman homes, Renaissance churches, and public buildings. What is this art form that takes its name from the Latin for wall? Time's up. Murals is the answer I needed. Here's your next toss-up, teams. Because a critical blood protein was first discovered in these Asian monkeys, they were almost extermin... Uh, Eric Kersley. Hershey's. Pardon me? Hershey's. Hershey's is incorrect. Uh, because a critical blood protein was first discovered in these Asian monkeys, they were almost exterminated for research. In what animal was the RH factor isolated in 1940? James Genesee. Orangutans? Also incorrect. Rhesus monkeys is the answer. Archaeologists have begun digging in the dunes near Guadalupe, California, looking for the huge elaborate sets for the 1923 silent movie classic, The Ten Commandments. Who is the extravagant director? Uh, James Genesee. Cecil B. DeMille? Correct answer. Genesee, here's your extra credit. Many people still think he should have won the 1986 Nobel Peace Prize. Name this leader of the Boomtown Rats who organized the Live Aid concert to ease the disastrous effects of African famine. Answer, please. No answer. Bob Geldorf is the answer I needed. Next toss-up. In A Christmas Carol, Scrooge meets the spirits of Christmas past, present, and future. In Norse mythology, these three goddesses are called past, present, and future, or Erd, Verdandi, and Skuld. Who are these Norse fates? Time's up. The Norns, N-O-R-N. Next toss-up. Under the terms of the new Clean Air Act, this city was given 20 years, more than any other, to clean up its act. Uh, Heath Kersley. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is correct. <laughs> Kersley, your extra credit. In 1774, the British Parliament passed the Massachusetts Government Act, the Administration of Justice Act, and the New Quartering Act. The American colonists for whom they were intended had another name for them. How were they known in the colonies? Intolerable acts. That's the correct answer. Your next toss-up, teams. Plumbum is the Latin name for this element, abbreviated uh, Sean Kersley. Lead. Lead is the correct answer. Uh, your extra credit, Kersley, quote, Ralph wept for the end of innocence, the darkness of man's heart, and the fall through the air of the true wise friend called Piggy, end quote. What William Golding... Lord of the Flies. Not, pardon me? Lord of the Flies. That's the correct answer. Your next uh, uh, toss-up, it appears in 1456, 1531, six, uh, Eric Kersley. Please comment. That's correct. <laughs> Kersley, your bonus. Jerusalem's Church of the Holy Sepulcher is built on the hill where Jesus is said to have been crucified. Give either the Hebrew or Latin name for that site. Golgotha. That's correct. Calvary, of course, is the Latin name. And that's going to bring our game to conclusion. A well-played game, over 500 points scored. Congratulations to Kersley. We'll uh, see you back here in a few weeks. Genesee, good luck to you and your other competitions throughout the year in your academic competition and your future. I'm Jim Gaber. Until our next high school challenge, have a pleasant evening. <laughs>